Now, after I was able to create uh, a sandbox, I of course want to now check what exactly I can do with the sandbox. Now, before I uh, start playing with the sandbox, I wanted to take a look at this page. Now, on this page, there is information about uh, the sandboxes and uh, uh, th there are things that I think you should read. But the main thing is that when you create a new sandbox, you then have the option to copy the data from your production instance to your sandbox. And uh, I was able to create a sandbox of Jira software, but uh, I believe this is also possible for Jira service management and uh, Confluence. And uh, this is of course uh, available only for the premium and the enterprise version of uh, Jira Cloud or Confluence Cloud. Now, there's also one more aspect to the copying of data. Now, first of all, there is uh, some uh, limitation. So it says here like, if the uncompressed XML size of your Jira product is over 20 GB, then you have to contact the support. And uh, there are a few things that won't be copied. For example, uh, uh, your attachments will not be copied, your automation rules will not be copied. And uh, th there are a few things that will not be transferred like your app data. So you need to be uh, aware of these things. If you are trying to maybe create a sandbox and you expect everything will be exactly like production, it will be but uh, it will only have I believe the configurations and issues. And I think uh, that can still be helpful. It may not be ideal, but uh, uh, still, I think you can uh, perform some test based on uh, based on data, which is uh, same as your production. Uh, things like webhooks and uh, application links will also be uh, disabled and also the, your external email notification integration with Bitbucket and Slack. So it, it makes sense. And I thought I'll probably okay, give it a try. Uh, I, I do have this. Uh, this instance of Jira where I have few projects. So I have in fact two projects. And uh, if I take a look at uh, things like issues, I do have some issues in these uh, projects. I also created a plan because uh, although the plan, I mean, portfolio or advanced roadmap used to be an app, but uh, it says the page says that it won't be uh, the data won't be copied for third party apps. So I guess uh, the uh, and and anyways, advanced roadmaps is not really an app anymore. It is a feature of Jira Cloud. So I guess I expect this plan to be also transferred. So let us see if I can uh, if I can uh, copy the data easily. So by the way, there is an option here. If you notice on top, so this this is my sandbox, which you can generate very easily and quickly. But if you click on this copy data, copy production data, you can. Uh, See here that there is an option will replace your sandbox with current production data after one hour your sandbox will go offline blah 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 copy data okay so let, let us click on this and I believe you can do that uh, whenever needed I'm not really sure but uh, I'll probably give it a try so we have the option here to uh, now wait I mean we have to wait there is no other option <laughs> so once this is uh, done I will uh, definitely take a look at uh, the the data that that was copied and main thing that I want to say is that with, will I have all the schemes and all the issues I don't really worry too much about the attachments but if I can at least have the the uh, configurations then I think that is a good uh, start F for example if I can have all my issue types my workflows and uh, issue type screen schemes and so on. I was hoping that it will also copy the data from the apps because that would be great. But uh, but I guess uh, this is a limitation which I think uh, we need to be aware of. But at least it is uh, still it is still there. I mean uh, we we can we can definitely think of uh, using it. So what I'll do, I'll of course. Uh, not wait for it. I'll uh, continue to uh, explore Jira Premium. And uh, I, of course, want to show you a few other things like we have covered uh, things like uh, permission schemes and uh, project archiving. And now we are looking at the sandbox. What I will also do is I will also try to understand uh, things like uh, IP allow listing. I think that there was something that I noticed when I was looking at the comparison page. So we will continue this uh, exploration of uh, Jira 
premium version in uh, the next couple of videos so that, that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you i hope you learned something new today and you enjoyed watching this video thank you very much